Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. Uh, the B team has just saved an Anu Haven, so we kind of need to, well, I guess, get them doing something useful like heading down to uh, Antarctica. That's probably going to be their next destination, so let's start them flying over. It's going to take a little bit of time. Right, and while they're doing that... Swoopmaster is on its way back up, and we have a new target to fight. Don't know precisely where it's going to go. Uh, so let's actually stop in here and see where this aircraft is flying. It is coming south. Okay. So wherever it goes, we're in the right neck of the woods. We're still waiting for the Battle Hawk to finish healing up. It's mostly repaired. Um, so it's in, in a pretty good place. The A-team are resting up uh, almost to the point where we can actually move in and uh, take out this citadel. The short bus is not too far away either. So I think probably that's going to be the focus of this episode. Let's uh, keep watching... For a Phoenix Transfer Point 1 of Fully Healed and Rested. Well, that's Phoenix Storage 1, so that must be one of the ones that got attacked. Short Bus is still a way away. Let's uh, select the Battle Hawk and watch it heal up. That's probably enough that we can fly on in and help out. Okay. Threat level medium. We want to take out that void chamber ASAP. One hit. Two hits. Chamber is gone, it's now not a threat to us. Because all those spikes are gonna get blocked. Got ten health left, that is funny and frustrating at the same time. Okay, so need you like us a little bit more for that. Uh, we want to and keeping a deployable range of this. We need to send you to rearm. You come down here. And I'd say the A team can actually move in and wait over here. Do we have all the craft? It doesn't look like the uh, short bus has arrived just yet. Let's uh, slow this down a little because it's it's struggling with the behemoth. The behemoth is supposed to be going below the ocean at the moment. Uh, right, I think to be safe we might need to move someone onto the short bus. So we'll have one person on it just to guarantee we've got the actual capacity. So we definitely want to take Be uh, Becky along we need to lose two people, uh, and we need to sort out who is going to have the sniper rifles. Probably... Bowl's going to be doing the shouting. So I think... Kirsty and... Hick get the neural sniper rifles 
And Kirsty is incredibly versatile. We don't need all that ammo, though. You've already got a neural pistol. So maybe it'd be better to give this to someone else. Yeah, if you've got the neural pistol already, you have that out. Hick, you're going to have the neural pistol out, but we're also going to give you the neural sniper rifle. Most likely. We could also give the neural sniper... No, we want it to be on someone who's going to hit it with the overwatch shots. That's what I'm thinking. So, yeah. Twelve ammo will take extra ammo just in case. So Hicks got that one. You are so overweight. Uh we could probably get rid of the deceptor in terms of what you're carrying. That brings you down to an actual weight that can be managed. It's fine. It doesn't feel particularly well organized, but it's another another pistol. Yeah, we'll give Xavier the other other sniper. So that's fine. And Mario's got pistol. Bowl kind of needs the redeemer. So we can get that extra virus load in there. Okay, so let's have a check. You've got the pistol. Or oh, I've got too many people selected at the moment anyway, so we're going to need to deselect them. Uh, Hick is definitely coming along. Aline is probably coming along. Xavier is definitely coming along. Becky is definitely coming along. So it's two from this side that need to go. I think, Mario, you're going to have to... Uh, we could lose Isaac, actually. We can lose Isaac. And... We can lose Mario. Right. This is going to be sketchy. So, fingers crossed. Capture space remaining. 14 total available containment, 92. And we should be able to capture the Scylla because we have the Scylla capture module. So let's focus around that. We want to get our frenzy on the go. And the team is going to have a lot more will points than we're used to in a way. Uh, and I think we really want to kind of like push up towards the exit. Make a Becky is kind of our scout in this situation. There. Okay. Worried about that a little, but we can get a decoy out. Target located. Ooh, we could also make this brute wild, which I've never tried before. I think decoy is going to be the most useful thing right now. And we're going to have to manage um, Becky's 
resources quite significantly. Oh, we can use Amplify for Paralysis. Ooh. That's got some some potential. Okay, we're going to throw a turret over behind uh, this. That must be just behind cover there, is what I'm thinking. If we bring Kirsty up to here, we can probably do some overwatch as this thing rounds the corner. I'm on the move. Okay, we'll go like that. Kind of wish I could move Becky back, but I don't want to use exertion to do it. Hiccup will go on Overwatch much the same way. Receiving. And Xavier, I think we'll get you forwards. I'm going in. Okay, it's a it's a start. I think it's probably going to be fine. So that Scylla is already on the move. <coughs> There's a lot of damage that it's putting out. Going to be a difficult and dangerous battle. Oh, we shot both his arms off. I was still able to get a poison out, though. That's a pain. It's a shame that our second Overwatch didn't trigger on him as well. Oh, man, they have really come in, haven't they? Uh, uh. Okay, Becky. Vampiric. This is what we're doing. Okay, if we do Adrenaline Rush, you could still probably get close enough and kill this one. Huh. I can do this. And we could probably onslaught you to go and kill two more. I wish we had some grenades. Okay, at the very least we can get the the turret doing some worthwhile shooting here. That's pretty worthwhile shooting. What's the plan? Yeah, we can't do your exertion because Ready, willing, and these able. aren't aren't really worth fighting. We can bash them with with a watcher? Amazing. Alright, do that. Because that's not going to take any damage. This is the best hand-bashing weapon that I know of, then. Uh, we can actually no rest for the dash in. Get 
bash on one of them and then back Moving to position. round. We definitely need to clear these guys out. This is quite far away. We could run in Adrenaline Rush and smack and then maybe move across and smack. Can I get someone else to kill this Triton? shoot the other one quite effectively. Ah, oh, we could have just mine crushed. That was a mistake. Yeah, I think if we move across a little bit we can we can kill this one. So let's do that. I'll step in, try and get you killed. What's our plan? So that's going to allow us to have Xavier. I should have activated Adrenaline Rush first. Before we did that shot. It's not much of a difference, but... Yeah! It is a difference. So in we go, Wallop. Wallop him again. He's going to bleed out on his turn. And we could move closer towards the Chiron or we can just get ourselves in a position and try and draw this thing out further. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and get ourselves in a position I'm on my way. In where we contact. can make some kind of paralysis or something work. So we've still got this worm that needs to go. I think we'll step in with Hick and give it a bash. Or just paralyze it? No, I don't want to waste the paralysis on it. It's fine. It's good enough. Right, so... We want to come across... And we want to get the overwatch quite narrow for when the Scylla moves towards us. And hope that it's the Scylla that moves in. Maybe, maybe do it to there. Receiving loud and clear. Becky, you're fine where you are. Fine enough, I should say. I will swap that over when I can. Maybe we'll step you in and get uh, get it swapped over that way. That's good. Uh, Kirsty, we could also do. Overwatch, but I don't think it's worth it without knowing which part of the mob we're going to hit. So come into here for now. And we'll make that work. And I'll try and remember that we've got Mind Crush for next turn, because I'm sure that is going to be really useful.
It did not come close enough to trigger the Overwatch. That's a shame. I am worried about those big cannons that it's got. Okay, that worked. Look at the little wibble back that it's got. Okay, Becky does need to sort out that medical stuff. But it's not really that big of a deal. So Mind Crush will kill most things. We can also move in closer before doing it, which will catch them more. get to here easily I think so let's uh, let's have a look at what it is we want to do this has been shot twice it needs to be shot another eight times with the actual sniper rifles uh, as in the paralysis ones I should say not just any old sniper rifle This can shoot those. Hick. We could do two quick aims, or we can do a regular shot and then an overwatch. A regular shot and then an overwatch technically gets us three shots. So I feel like that is a smart choice. We could also do some onslaughting. So we could do a regular shot, someone onslaughts, we do a quick aim and then go from there. That's also a possibility. We've also got the amplifier over here. This is 20 piercing. How much piercing did we need on the back? Okay. It's got 30. Saving. Loud. This does 11. So it should work on the back. So, yeah. Here we go. We're going to start off here. We're going to go amplify. We're going to get ourselves in a position to shoot it in, in the butt. Let's do this. Acquiring target. I don't think there's anywhere better to, to hit it. I would actually quite like someone to get just a little bit of shredding on its butt, just in case. It's hard to shoot like this. Mm, that is not an accurate thing. But we can breathe the mist in to clear it out. Which gives us the willpower that we would need to do a whole bunch of other stuff. What is there that we cannot see? It's got to be another worm, doesn't it? Well, at the very least, it's uh, it's going to get mind crushed. So mind crush does affect all the way up to that one and all the way out to the back. So yeah, we'll do that now. It's four that we know of and even more that we can't see. We could do that next turn as well, in theory. But for right now, let's... 
do zero damage, but to get the viral infection that we need on this. And I think we're going to need to onslaught it to do that again. I th think that's probably going to have to be the way we do it. Or we just keep the paralysis going. Plink, plink, plink. Targeting. I mean, the uh, the amplifier is making this 11 per hit, which is really quite powerful. Gotcha. Savior, seeing as you're right next to this thing, you could do two quick aim hits. Or we could step you in and you could hit it with 15 virus. A few times. Right. And I think that's what we want to do at this point. So, supporting viral loads. <laughs> 42, that is enough, but why stop there? Okay, 57 viral load. It should panic on its turn. I say should because obviously these things never go according to plan. Bombs online. So, Becky, we want to bring you in. And then you could do exertion and hit it a couple of times with paralysis. Breathing in that mist actually made a huge difference. Next turn, we can always hit it with a little bit more. Right, we'll do the one hit. And we'll do the overwatch for when it inevitably runs. And hope that that overwatch is effective. Kirsty. I feel like I should bring you forwards, but we could probably do a fair bit from back here. Finger on the trigger. Let's have a look. That did not miss. Oh, but maybe it hit, like, the... Might be hitting that edge bit a little. Let's move in. <laughs> and I'm going to get the turret to just do some shooting while it can. bring you up this way Ready so at the very least we're keeping people moving forwards and yeah we can we can put Kirsty just off to the side let's do a, a quick aim shot I think because this is not quite doing enough piercing I think that's why we're not getting through. Yeah, we'd need to do one more damage. That's what the problem is. Okay, well let's let's save the ammo.
And we could maybe do... No, that is not worth... Not worth it. So, this thing panicked, as expected. And it is one third paralysed already. Ooh. And it's uh, opened this up for us to take a look at. That's very convenient. Now it's panicked, so it's not going to recover this turn, but it will recover next turn. I can actually get Becky to run up to this to get the uh, extra oh. willpower. Attempting to reposition. That gives us extra will points. We'll grab the stuff because why the hell not? Adrenaline rush. Get our health back. And get some paralysis on it. Ready. Sort of. Right, Xavier. Okay, before we do Xavier, let's do Bowl's Mind Crush. That clears all those little things out. So now we can focus on what's really important. This thing is almost half paralyzed. Keep the overwatch on it. Becky, you're done as much as you can for this um, could get Xavier to just shred a little bit on the torso at the back, but I really want to be doing the uh, the shooting with the neural sniper rifle. So who else have I got that could do something like that? Uh, we could get Aline to throw out another watcher. And that could have a go at it next turn. Will this help? So it's not going to be this turn, but next turn. Uh, we also need to move you round. So yeah, if you're going to move round... Let's get you to take control of this turret first. So we're getting the benefit this turn. Minus 12 armor, that's amazing. Blink. Gotcha. There we go. Let's wait for it to recover. Enemy hit. I'd say this is this is going well at this point. Uh, we need to reload. reload. Acquiring target. And we can even do a couple of quick aims from Kirsty over here. Just to get the, through the ammo a bit faster and get this thing paralyzed quicker. Okay. Look at that. That is some solid paralysis coming in. Can't go on Overwatch, but we can move in closer or further away. 
Let's come to here, get a slightly different angle, because it's going to um, recover next turn. Uh, Eileen, you know what? I'm going to bring you this way. You've only got a little bit of ammo left. It smells like trouble. Let's at least get you out of the uh, the mist. Bowl, we can start you on your paralysis. Very nice. I think that's everyone that can do anything. Uh, this watcher, we could maybe get it like shooting some legs, but I don't think there's anything for it to do. Okay, this is now recovered, so it is definitely a concern. And also, don't like this guy off on the side. Pretty good uh, retaliatory shot. Now, with it having recovered, it is immune to panic for this turn, which is a problem. Because uh, it can do a whole bunch of stuff. We could double down on the paralysis and just try and get it all done this turn. Uh, but there's a there's a lot of things around us that we need to deal with. And I kind of need to recover bowl so that we can do future future nasties. So who are we going to get to take out? the worms. Don't feel like that actually did. Wow, look at that. Hit one of them and it did very little worthwhile. Uh, you can actually see this guy, which is not a bad idea, but I think the worms are probably a bigger threat. Okay, two worms gone at least. So that's working in our favour. Ready. I believe there's a worm that made it inside here. Need a better position. Ooh. Definitely taking that. Holy moly. Let's re-gear our stuff. Mist repellent leg module. I want to be wearing that right now. Also, more neural sniper ammo. This is potentially a gold mine in here. Right, we need to hit this thing if we can. I think we might be hitting it with this. Nope, we're bashing it with a turret. That's how we go. Can't quite see to shoot that in the butt. So we're going to have to step on out for next turn. Alright, Kirsty, what shots Acquiring you can target. get off? In fact, do we want Kirsty to be doing this? We've got one fireworm left over there. Which is not too bad. Who have we got left who would take it out? Becky can do some healing. And 
Like, if we were to come around here, suck up the mist. And then adrenaline rush. So come around here, suck up the mist, we've got one left. Adrenaline rush. And exertion, we've got three left. Hit it, we've got two left. And a bit of healing, and then move away. That could work. Feels a bit sketchy, though. Looks dangerous. So round here, breathe in the mist. That gives us 15. Adrenaline rush. Huh. Exertion. That takes us down to three. Get our health back. And come over next to this just to be annoying or get in a position maybe for that poacher next turn. <laughs> it's funny that we're trembling. We could also just really double down on this. All right, we'll probably double down. So let's look at Xavier. You can do one shot, so at the very least we should back you up and do your shot from a bit further okay, away. Let's move. Right, so that gives it its 240. What's our plan? You've only got a couple of shots left. Let's send you in to bash this guy. Moving to position. That takes care of all the worry from these. It is not a brilliant shot, but we'll make it work. And yeah, we can step forwards a little bit and do a quick aim shot. It puts us in cover. That should have gone better. And that's the last bit of ammo we've got for this gun. Oh, we're going to get you doing your recover. In fact, before we do that, let's just check. He has 28 will points. He's immune to panic for turn. He's inflicted by 27 virus. So yeah, next turn he's going to gonna get to act. There's no point in us putting more redeemer load on him. So we'll recover instead. And Hick. Still got another five shots with this. Keep on it. Okay, Becky. 270 out of 365. I think we should back away. Even if it's just a little. So you can hit it once and then we back up. I'm on the move. bit of uh, retaliation from our lovely turrets. Oh no! It's going to paralyze our turret. And you're close enough to the jamming field. These are just going to get mind crushed. Uh, uh. So much mind crushing. Right, Becky's still fine. So, with Becky still being fine, mind crush is not quite going to hit that one on the edge. Let's reposition. 
Mine crash. There we go. Clear all the worms out. Now this guy is facing the wrong way for what we need. Uh, Becky, we're actually going to do a very similar thing to what we did last time. We're going to step you in. You're going to suck up. Attempting to reposition. All the mist. You're going to adrenaline rush. You're going to exertion. Oh, you can't exertion. You've got six will points. It says not enough will points. Right, let's tab off you and go back to you. Ready for action. Yeah, it's not letting you do that. Oh, well. You're probably like 5.9 something. Very strange. This thing is going to panic on its next turn, so that is fine for us to be looking at. I've got to focus. We could shoot it in so many places, but that abdomen is definitely the best. And we can pop in and have a look at what's in the equipment box. We don't have much in the way of... Hello. Much in the way of uh, options. I'm really tempted to, to get a thing over onto you. Bit more shredding on these guys. <coughs> sure. <coughs> and the other turret is so far away, it's really not going to be effective. That it is getting so close. Okay, Aline, you've still got a couple of shots left. Amplify, get what we can out of this. I want to get into a position where you can see the back. Hope I can find cover. Nearly there. So close. So very close. Oh, can you see the back from where you are? Sort of over the top-ish. You're also in danger of being shot by the, uh, the guy with the paralysis. I think that's acceptable for what we're trying to do. Right, you're actually... Out of ammo. We do have spare ammo Ready. on bolt, so let's grab it and reload. Because if we can get it paralyzed this turn, uh. we can turn our attentions elsewhere. One more. Need an angle. Cool. Let's hit it again. Wait, it's twisted its it's twisted its body. Now I can't see it properly. Which is very funny, but not very useful. Okay, well we'll move forwards and we'll go on overwatch for this thing at the back. I hope I get them. We've got a turn to deal Ready. with it, so sort of. it's not that big of a problem. Yeah. 
solid hit in his torso. Ooh. And he just added more paralysis onto the Scylla. Well, that works in our favour. These guys have still got worms? That's funny. I would have thought they would be running on empty by now. Okay, well, the Scylla is defeated. So we can just leave. And the exit is just over here. So... Why does it think there is no valid target for breathing the mist? Oh, you're standing in a little gap of mist. That's why. Okay, well... Step to here. It looks dangerous. Breathe a bit of mist around you. You're full of stuff, so yeah, we're just gonna move you out. But you can come over here. With with the Triton having paralyzed, um, it's really not a concern for us at all anymore. That's really, really good. So we're just going to get everyone out as quickly and as safely as possible. Um, Hick, I'm actually tempted to bring you back down. Oh, there's no exit on this side. Yeah, you're going out the same way as everyone else. Luckily, you've got really high movement, so you're going to outrun those worms. No problem. No choice but to keep going. Guess it's the making. furthest away is a lean, and you're still going to get far enough that I don't have to worry. Ready. Yeah, tuck in just behind over there. And then I guess we'll just have a, a cleanup crew come in to kind of sort things out. I do want to throw this um, this grenade though. Just a shame that he's run around the corner there. Feels like it'd be a waste if I did it now. I can't take much more of these. Uh, who did you see just at the end there? Someone over, someone over this side. Okay. So potentially we're going to have some combat as people leave. I think that's that's fine. So. Tari, you want to shoot the one that is slightly closer to Aline. Didn't manage it. Next one we'll try. The much more reliable turret did a good job. That is actually a so much more reliable turret. It's not even blowing up. Now we could go around and grab all the uh, all the stuff from each of the the boxes, but I don't really see it giving us much benefit. We've we've loaded up what we can, and I think we've got a pretty good uh, haul haul of important stuff. Plus, you know, a Scylla. Okay, Becky, you can get out. So let's send you out. Clean. Oh, you can't quite get out, but if you dash, you might be able to. Ooh. 
Look at that. This is going to work out perfectly. So the turrets are technically abandoned, but I'm sure they'll uh, they'll guard the Scylla well enough. And out you go, Hick. Three-man Scylla capture. Not bad. A little bit of skill points for everyone. No one gained any levels because everyone's max level and it's a shame we couldn't bring the rest of the team along. But 13 skill points to put in the uh, in the general pool, it's not bad. Most important, we got the repeller module. And we got a Scylla. My task is not to see what is on the surface, but to perceive the truth within. What do you believe? Do you understand that there is no way back to the world before the flood? Because it was the very nature of that world that caused its downfall. If you do, then you understand the folly of those who dream of the old world, and you will act against them. Well... I am sending you the coordinates of a sacred site. At this place, a child was born with a body uplifted by Anu and a mind free of the plague, a harbinger of things to come. Yet now, the heathens of New Jericho occupy this hallowed ground and refuse to leave. Cast them out and prove your dedication to our cause. Yeah, we can take this on. Every everyone likes this quite a bit at the moment, so... Even losing the old on world each must die for the new to be born. It would appear that we have a problem, and one of our own making at that. Sinidrian has always had uh, something of a big tent approach to ecological issues. Unfortunately, sometimes that tent is a circus tent, and now the clowns are revolting. Oh, Nikolai. I'm sorry, I become sarcastic when I'm irritated, and it's better to speak clearly. A group of antinatalists who call themselves the Malthusian Revolt have broken away from Sinidrian and declared war. To prove that they're serious, they sabotaged one of our labs, killing 11 innocent people. Uh. Apparently, they believe that humanity is the real virus, and that our techno-extractive rule must come to a violent end. Or some misanthropic nonsense to that effect. Unfortunately, they blame the Phoenix Project for uh, corrupting Sinidrian, so they will target you as well. Be careful. This is a crucial moment, and they will do their best to derail this alliance. Well, I'm happy to take the blame for that. Phoenix Project will stop them. Thank you. It's good to have you on our side in the struggle against these dangerous idiots. I'm transmitting the coordinates of their base. Hi. We've been working together so well, I thought I'd send over a little gift. Just some new tech we've been working on here in the lab. A new multi-mode fibers, quantum capacitors, self-sealing stem bolts, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Does that sound good? Uh, it does indeed. It's going to make the others uh, dislike us a little bit, but I always take free stuff. Excellent. Honestly, I'm just excited to share this stuff. I spend so much time in the lab, it all becomes very abstract, you know? Yeah. Just incrementing numbers. Forgetting that there are real people out there whose lives are affected by the technologies we develop. Even the simple ones. The simple lives or anyway, the simple technologies? I'll let you get back to saving the world. Cool. So, big things. We have two new diplomatic missions to go on. Uh, we have the Scylla vivisection and uh, a goo repeller that we can research. And uh, very quickly... So, Mario already has one of these leg repeller modules. I would like to give Jordan the other one. And actually, I should have put all of, all of these in. 
before we went on that last mission. Uh, not Isaac, not Paul. Ah, cool. Kirsty has recovered from experimental delirium treatment. Uh, Aline's moving around a lot, so we'll give one to Aline and Xavier will do for the other. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy with where we are. Oh my god, we've got We have people who can in theory gain levels that we're just not going to give any points to. Did I have Did I build I built a training facility at Phoenix Point, right? That's why they're gaining levels. Well, that's nice. Very nice. It's not really going to do much. Um, right, we are unfortunately out of time for this episode, so we're going to have to finish off there. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have enjoyed it, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. See you soon.